Hi, welcome to AFTV. It's time for the fan roundup. We've got three fans here, two of them Chelsea fans, one Arsenal. Um, let's start with the Chelsea fans. The question to both of you Chelsea fans is going to be, what yeah. went wrong today for Chelsea? Pretty much like I was, you know, what Lewis has said earlier. I think, I think overall we were poor today, and we we couldn't we couldn't just break you guys down. It's been a, a bar issue for the last three weeks now. We break Southampton, we beat Southampton six 0 but apart from that, we, it, it's been jarring on the home games, especially because he did ten goals. Something doesn't add up for for Chelsea at the moment. Yeah. It's it's just like at, at the moment we haven't found our consistent attacker yet. That's mm. the main that's the main poor of our season. We keep con. con Consistently changing our attackers, we, we don't have find the right solution, and that's that's the problem for Tuchel right now. And I feel he doesn't trust over our tackles that much. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But let me go to you, Chelsea fan. What went wrong today for you? Um, look, Tuchel got it all wrong. I mean, like, does he not know the importance of this game? I mean, it's a derby. I don't care how bad you, you've been. You just go full strength. You do not rotate. Even after you just won the semi the semi final against against Palace, no, you do not rotate in a London derby in a fixed. Look, Cecil, um, I'll I'll fire the question back to you. If Tottenham are like 18th and you're like in this same position, would you rotate or would you go full strength? Yeah, players get tired. If you have to rotate and there's players that aren't available, you rotate. Fair enough, but <laughs> I don't think you would rotate. Come okay. on, come on, let's be real. Nah, it's a London derby. I would always go full strength. But but Rudig, I mean, like with Rudiger, he pulled a muscle. So I was like, I was I was like I was a bit worried. But then Christensen came in, like nah. Hmm. Look, so he, for me, he got it all wrong today, yeah. and the blame goes on the manager. Okay, so that's what it is. So you over it and, and the blame is on Thomas Tuchel today. Let me get my Arsenal fans in. Right, it went right today. Arsenal, Arsenal fans, what went wrong today? It went right for us as as Arsenal fans and the Arsenal yeah, and the Arsenal side. <sighs> what, let's talk about top four quickly. Yeah. Where do you stand right now? Mate, I was interviewed, yeah, in December. They play that. I'm confident we can get top four in this, yeah? Yep. And guess what? I still fucking believe that we're going to get top four, yeah? Big up the believers, okay? This game just proved that. Even when we go on a down, like some bad games, yeah? We come back and we beat fucking Chelsea 4-2, yeah? You see Eddie Nketiah? Yeah. That guy is going to be brilliant, bro. He's going to be insane. Mm. I reckon give him a couple more games this season and he's going to prove it. Mm. Okay, let me come to you, my bro. Arsenal today. It's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. I'm not... Listen, all I have to say is give us Lukaku and you'll see what we'll do. Do you know what I'm trying to you say? You want Lukaku, yeah? Do you, know do you see what he did today? Yes, but do you know what it is? I feel like Tuchel don't play to Lukaku's strengths. Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? Look at Lukaku into Lukaku. Milan. Do you understand what I'm to you? And the problem with Chelsea fans, no matter what, no matter how much money you give them, no matter how much players that you give them, as soon as they make any, as soon as they lose any game, they're just deluded. They're just not. They just ex they just start making excuses. Oh, we changed this, we changed that. That Chelsea team is better than Arsenal's team. We got a young squad. Do you know what I'm trying to say? We got a young squad that has no Champions League experience. Probably one or two, but I wouldn't say that actual Champions League experience. This is a Champions League winning team that we played against. Now let's not forget about the last three games that we played against uh, Southampton, Brighton. Those teams. Those were, those, were, those, were, those were some must-win game, and we didn't win them. So I'm not the person to, to get excited straight away, but this is a very big game that's going to give the boys the confidence. But can we win the next three games? We've got, West, the, we got West Ham, we've got Tottenham, we've got United. Exactly. Well, with Arsenal, you never know. Let's be real. But at the same time, we do have a good record against uh, Man United at home. Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? So to this weekend, we might do our thing. And I, I feel like with the confidence that we can bring from Stamford Bridge now, I feel like we definitely can um, push through and, and get that win. But what I need to say is, we need to stop playing Lacazette. I'm sorry Lacazette, but we need to stop playing Lacazette because we didn't sign a number nine to play as a CDM. That's my opinion. And that's the problem with, as soon as we took out Lacazette from our team, what happened? We started scoring more goals. This is the first time we scored four goals in how long? Do you get know what I'm trying to say to you? And with Nketiah up front, I personally think that Martinez should start a striker. And, and still have Smith Rowe and, and um, Saka on the right and left and have Odegaard behind. Because we need that, we need that player that's going to be able to run in behind. We don't need a player that's going to be coming in, playing as an extra but There was a period of the time that it was working for Arsenal. It was working for Arsenal, but then look, how long is it going to work for? How long are we going to be in the same position, talking about the same thing? This summer, we definitely need to invest into a world-class striker, no matter what. The board definitely needs to go out there and get a world-class striker. We had a world-class striker since, i will probably say Sanchez or or even Giroud, do you know what I'm trying to say? And the only reason why we didn't get as far as we did with that team is because 
the qualities and the injuries at the time wasn't up to that standard to compete with the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid at the time. But I feel like this team here, we've got a young, hungry team that play for the badge, that want to play for the badge, but they just need that extra mile to take them there. And that's that world-class striker that's going to be in the box, that's going to be able to take on the headers. Because all we keep doing is playing sideways football, you know, crossing it in from the side. We, 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 we rarely take any shots. So this is, this is the only thing. And look, when we took our chances today and we took, we took on goal, we scored our goals. Oh, yeah, listen, respect. Thank My you very much. Thank you love. Very much. So that's it for the fan roundup. And I, I did speak to that Chelsea fan. I must admit, if Arsenal play Tottenham, I want the full strength squad. I don't want Arteta to rotate. But yeah, listen, make sure you hit a like on this video and subscribe to AFTV. And we'll see you next time. Peace. So, as you know, guys, this is it, bro. We're on our way to Nigeria, Lagos. Here we come. AFTV is coming. Yes, I am very, very happy. I'm excited. Very happy to be taking some people back home, you know. <laughs> some people that took three flights to, to their home in Ibadan. I'm about to tell them how many flights they're about to take. So I'm very, very happy. Very happy. So Ty, come on, man. You must be excited. Your first time in Nigeria. Ty, do you even have a passport? Well, Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.